感觉有什么作用呢？感觉主要是有两个作用，一个是帮助我们了解周围的世界，这个世界的存在需要我们自己去感受。我们不妨想一想，如果没有感觉的话，我们会有什么样的心理的体验，什么样的心理的反应？有心理学家还真的做过这样的试验。这个试验的名字就叫做感觉剥夺试验。Does everybody feel prepared and okay to begin the experiment? Yes, fine. Fifty-five years ago, it was sensory deprivation of the most extreme kind, which led to the first experiments in this area. To understand more. North America's leading psychologists designed a series of extreme experiments to cut off people's senses and find out how the isolation affected their minds. The scientist in charge, Professor Donald Hebb, was surprised by the results. Sensory deprivation really is a way of producing extreme monotony. It's apparently a horrible experience, getting worse and worse. Some of our subjects talked about cruelty. What they said was that the degree of boredom became intolerable and was,、uh, one subject said, as bad as anything that that、uh, Hitler had ever done to any of his sub to his、uh, victims. Oh, getting tough now. Yes. <laughs> In this controversial test, six ordinary people are deprived of all sensory stimulation to discover the impact on their brains. I've got a hallucinate now. Same hallucinate. The scientists have discovered that the human brain needed constant stimulation for its healthy functioning. However, the experiments were considered too cruel, and were closed down. Feeling boredom test showed that we have no feeling. Our life is how terrible our life is. 那么有了感觉，我们的生活又会不会变得非常的美好？心理学家也做过这方面的研究，发现感觉其实让我们生活的更加愉快、积极、主动。有一个著名的试验，就是研究一下人类的触觉对于我们的意义。在大街上随便问一个人他的电话号码，如果你不碰他的话，你成功的概率也许就只有百分之十。但是，如果你在不经意的情况下，轻轻的接触了对方的上肢，你就会得到百分之二十的肯定的回应。同样的是，夫妻之间、父女之间、母子之间、亲人之间，如果有很多的肢体的接触，我们的感情就会变得更加的深刻，更加的有意义。现在，我们有些亲人之间，有些夫妻之间，连手都不碰。爱情如何产生？触觉对于我们确实是非常的重要。如果我们要真实的认识世界，仅凭我们的视觉、触觉、味觉、嗅觉是不够的。我们还需要对它进行整体的加工。很多情况下，我们的感觉甚至可能是有错误的。比如说，昨天晚上我下班回家，我就觉得路上有一个大石头，猛踩刹车，仔细一看，不是石头。是阴影，那么这种感觉的刺激，误认为是石头，还是需要我们的大脑进行分析、判断、解释。这种分析、判断、解释和信息的综合，就是我们下面要讲的知觉。